Construction for California high speed rail gets on track as we get a closer look now at some of the first signs of progress for the multi billion dollar project. KCRA 3's Linda Muma took a tour of the first construction site in Madera County today and explains why, despite some delays, high speed rail says the project is on time and on budget. Now what we start to see is, is it rising up from the ground. Officials with the High Speed Rail Authority tout this as the first visible sign of progress for California's $68 billion bullet train. You know, years from now, when we're all long gone, uh, people will look back and say this is where it started. Columns for a 1,600-foot bridge are starting to take shape over the Fresno River in Madera County. You know, it's exciting to see things going up. Putting more than 200 small businesses and more than 100 people to work as it ramps up construction of a 29 mile stretch between Madera County and the city of Fresno. We're looking at starting of the demolition of the Tuolumne Bridge and then also looking at starting to construct the overpasses at Avenue 12. So uh, additional construction sites in the next couple of months. But even high speed rail staff members recently acknowledged delays in acquiring land from property owners has gotten construction off to a slow start. And and some residents we talked with wonder if it will happen in their lifetime. Yeah, I want to write it, but no, I never will. That's because crews will have to bore through complicated rock formations and a number of earthquake faults to complete what's being called the most ambitious tunneling project in the nation's history. Yet the High Speed Rail Authority believes it can get the job done. Tunneling technology is just pretty amazing and, and where it's going and we've got the benefit of the best thinking and all of that and we're doing all of the front end work um, so that we'll know exactly what we're dealing with and how to best deal with it. In Madera County, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. And in another development today, Assembly Republicans are calling for an investigation into project management. This comes after an L.A. Times report alleged the rail authority concealed information about the project's cost and its engineering challenges. Rail CEO Jeff Morales, who you saw there in that story, denies the rail authority is covering anything up.